Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. I had a thought. You ever heard of this Bible verse that says, teach us, O Lord, to number our days so that we may gain a heart of wisdom? It's really cool. I heard it growing up and, you know, some people are always like, I'm this many thousands of days old. It's quite a, quite a thing to think about rather than just years. But I was thinking about it in relation to counting calories, counting workouts, counting reps, counting miles if you're a runner. You know, it's almost like teach me to teach me to count how many calories I've eaten today or this week or at a sitting so that I can be wise about the choices that I'm making. Because isn't that the goal? I mean, I make such better decisions when I know. When I don't know, I mean, come on, let's get real. If you're in a place where you're gaining some weight you know, but you don't want to get on the scale because it'll tell you where you are and you're really afraid to do that, then you cannot make wise decisions. It's almost like ignorance in some ways is bliss, but in the end, you know that's not what you want. So teach me to number them so I know what my number is. I know where I am. I mean, a lot of people don't like to do this, but I like to weigh every day. Because it's so much easier to say, I've gone up a few, you know, like two or three pounds this week, rather than get on the scale a month later and be like, I gained 10 pounds. Oh, because two or three sounds like a lot less than 10. You know what I'm saying? Teach me to number not only my days, but my food and my workouts and even my weight. I mean, I don't want to be obsessive. Come on, let's. Let's get real, because people do get obsessive about those things. So if I find myself getting obsessive, maybe I'll back off a little bit. But teach me to number these things so that I can get wisdom, so that I can have a heart of wisdom, so I can be wise about the choices I'm making. Because here's the thing, if I want to have a cupcake or a piece of cake or I want to have a treat day or go get some frozen yogurt or do whatever, I need to be numbering all the other things so that I know that it's not going to totally mess me up. or if I'm like, uh, it's it's okay, I'll eat this, and then tomorrow I'll eat bad again, and you know, just the weekend's cool, and then I'll start over on Monday. I mean, man, that's how I got to 300 pounds. But on the flip side, when I began to number those days and number the the things I was eating and, and my workouts, and how many times have I worked out this week? Okay, I wanna try to work out at least like five or six times this week. I mean, a couple days I'd like to do a double. As I began to do that, as I began to think, oh, look at the, man, the calories. I'm going to go for the one that's a lower calorie. Or, I mean, that's a lot of sodium. I'm going to do the thing that's less sodium. Then I began to make wise choices. You see how that works? Uh, this was new to me, actually. I mean, the idea of counting things is good, but sometimes it's like, oh, this is such a drag. But, the, but all of a sudden, I began to see that that verse, like, applies to so many things beyond just days. So, just my thought. Just a quick thought from Ben. Um, sorry if it was a little bit, almost like a sermon. I can do that sometimes. So if you ever get to that part, you can skip ahead. But anyway, let's number stuff so that we can be really wise, so that we can really enjoy those treats and we can be healthy, we can be fit, and most of all, that we won't be the fat husband. Check you guys later.